I know if I was uh, the captain, I'd also pick myself and vote. Or oh, sorry, the uh, the Rubik this game. It's steal uh, RP skewer uh, fiends grip nightmare. A lot of uh, a lot of fun spells to be had. Seconds. Anyway, they get rid of uh, the Terra Blade here on four Zubins, which is kind of surprising because they could have they might have taken that for themselves. It is a coast to be lay special, but uh, they could also run uh, the Monkey King in position one. It's not really decided. Uh, Monkey King once in a while is flexed on the four right now, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we're seeing Monkey King flex to the four, um, and I think like z freak in particular likes to play a lot of these like aggressive four position heroes heroes that can farm like with his weaver obviously very well respected lava first banning that one as well as moose tidehunter but you know mm. z freak he's probably gonna be playing the one he's probably going to be playing the monkey king this game you could still take it for costa bile it is a uh, a centaur off lane here most likely um a hero that has been getting a lot of love these last two days like we've seen this hero in almost every game it's been are you a fan of seeing it in every game uh I, I i think centaur is like new and fun i think we like got to watch um oscar yesterday just put the smack down with this hero like he was top net worth absolutely crushed a life stealer in his lane and just like Second. took over yeah. <laughs> you see you heard in the interview afterwards like yeah it was whatever Second. yeah uh <laughs> zoomer's probably having some you know nightmarish flashback seeing the first pick centaur <laughs> here from lava <laughs> uh hopefully they'll be okay though all right the band of the band of assassin as well again surprising given the fact that they have the manus on their side uh getting rid of the phantom assassin that one makes a little bit less sense i can see the i can understand the terribly a little bit more but the pa is weird you think they'll pick up something like a juggernaut i know you are playing against the viper Ten, uh, you are playing against the centaur so be able to survive his rundown and take advantage of the empower with Five, the cleave uh juggernaut is one of the better heroes at doing that are these things right it's not bad uh for the jug right now the only like real bkb piercing and disable is like ags coil from puck and that's not easy unless rubik steals like fiends grip or rp which is pretty likely so there's that you have to consider but um mm. you need something that can win the centaur lane and monkey king definitely can do it if coast of wants to take the monkey king to the safe lane but i i imagine they're saving their final pick here for a uh for coast of and it's going to be a safe a safe matchup for him yeah, I, I think Jug, when I see the PA ban out, like, is a uh, thing in the forefront of my mind. Uh, but like you mentioned, they can run the Monkey King against the Centaur. Uh, you're able to trade with him fairly well, as long as you don't get burst 100 to 0 by, like, a double edge who have stomped in double edge. Uh, I have. They could run this Viper in multiple positions as well. Like, they could we flex the, the pocket to, like, to the 5, or oh, Rubik into the 5 and pocket in the 4. Dying you see that turn. once in a while? But I imagine it's going to be a five viper, right? Well, there's the enchantress, so it is going to go ahead and be Costa Bile in the safe lane. But uh, interesting. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is likely to be the five viper. Um, it would make the most sense. Like none of these other like Puck's Hate not viper. a hero that can that can flex, and neither is Centaur. So, uh, what are your I thoughts on Viper, Ricky? <sighs> I think the hero is pretty good. I do. I think the hero is pretty good. What do you think of people who play Viper, though? Not as bad as uh, some other people who play, like, heroes like Meepo and Techies and stuff like that. Shout out to Slacks. Uh, the only Slacks acceptable Meepo? Techies player. I don't think he has the hand dexterity for Meepo. <laughs> uh, Kataro's Clinks. Yeah. So we've seen Kataro get this last pick of Clinks now, I think, three or four times now in this tournament. I think they've won every single one. They have, but they've been winning a lot this tournament. This is true. Uh, the only thing that they lost is they uh, lost that very close, uh, what, best of uh, three where they went 2-1 uh, and uh, dropped into the lower bracket, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, so. we'll see. It's going to be a yeah, great we'll... first game, dude. I am so excited to be here. This is, uh, this is the peak of America's Dota, man. You know, you, we, we got Lava up against four Zoomers. Thunder Predator just waiting in the grand finals for a best of five, man. Like, this is it's going to be such a sick day. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for Kataro's Clinks this game. Sammy Boy had thought this hero had fallen off, and it was uh, not as strong as it was before. And he plays a lot of Clinks. He's, like, one of the resident Clinks experts in the Americas, right? he is they did buff him after the nerf though so like clinks did get pretty heavily nerfed i think two or three times in a row and then they finally gave him a little bit of love back but um 
Yeah, the thing is, is Clinks was a hero that had almost no innate farming abilities. He basically could only farm by killing heroes, similar to heroes like Ricky, and they, mm-hmm. they struggle a lot. It's the reason they've been out of the meta for arguably years, except for the times when they like they were over buffed and just like broken for like a month. But and then they uh, get rid of it. They say, oh, OK, well, you've had your time in the sun. Yeah. Back to the dungeon with you. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, then they give Clinks this massive AOE farming ability, arguably one of the best farming abilities in the game. And suddenly he's picked again. And uh, yeah. I think that's going to you know keep Clinks viable for for quite a long time here. Hmm. Well, that and uh, the fact that you have to pick up Maelstrom alongside. Otherwise, I don't think it farms super well, but. Uh, I mean, that's that's that's, that's what makes it good, right? Like, yeah, the fact that it procs on hit effects, it's pretty low cooldown. You can borderline spammable scales with damage. Like everything about this ability is just very, very, very good. I hope you switch scenes there and uh, you didn't see me drinking on my fast food uh, cup. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the answer to that one, Neff. Not going to tell you the answer. You could sweat that one for a moment. (laughs) All right, we got... This is the meta of the mid lane right now, everybody. Uh, As I quickly change the topic, look at this. They set up in the the mid with uh, several heroes. They wait for somebody to walk forward, try to scatter out the ward. But Leo style, he's not biting today. He's too good. The man is a master of the mid lane. And they see them, they, they scouted him uh, at the Invoker dropping the ward there. Yep. Fuck uh, Leo's dial. He pings that one out. So that one's going to get dewarded. Rookie mistake there by Gunner. Yeah, going uh, to be an easy deward eventually, unless they decide to deny it. So we'll see. They might. But um, well, they yeah. don't necessarily realize that this has been scouted out just yet. I am so excited because Gunner Invoker is, uh, is an absolute treat. I mean, he's one of the most talented you know invoker players in the region we don't really get to see him played all that often we did see leo style i believe earlier in this tournament absolutely put the smack down on an entire team with his invoker so definitely something that he's familiar playing against considering he's also quite skilled on it Mm -hmm. so so we'll see how this mid lane is going to go i think for the most part it's pretty decent for puck like the first three levels because you have you know a decent amount of damage but once gunner gets like the double null tally out um it becomes a little bit more difficult that yeah, invoker is also a very smart guy with a large uh intelligence growth rate mm-hmm. he gets 4.6 inch per level second highest in the game right yeah behind pugna he's old. even smarter yeah isn't it pugna's five it's 4.9 five, maybe 5.2 5.2 jesus at least i'm pretty sure let me double check yeah 5.2 is that the highest stat growth of any hero it is right yeah. i don't think i think centaurs is like what four point yeah 4.6 yeah yeah and then uh 4.6 on terror blades agility and 4.4 on earth spirit strength yeah tragedy of our god damn for being just a you know bunch of bones that dude's got a huge brain <laughs> <laughs> He keeps it all in his uh, BZZ uh, sets. That's where he stores his brains. The classic. Oops, sentry gets dropped, and they do not see a ward because it is just out of, ri- out of vision there. Leo style is uh, very happy with the current state of his mid lane. Hold on. What does this flag say? Oh, I see. Uh, I can ignore that. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's a good name. I like it. Dude, we're gonna get shut down by Disney again. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom rune looks like we're gonna see an engagement here. Both teams with visions gonna make this pretty interesting. And EMP just gonna get tossed here, burn a little bit of mana. Nothing spectacular here. Hmm. You're just gonna go to the lanes, two for two on the runes. And this is where hopefully things start to heat up a little bit. You know, we like the spice here in the Americas. <laughs> Spice like Dune, dude. God, that movie was so good. Have you seen it yet? Uh, of course. Okay. I went to see it on uh, Halloween. I talked to you about. Oh, this. we both saw it on Halloween. I forgot about that. Yeah. I saw it Halloween morning in IMAX, and then I watched it uh, at home a few times. I don't know what an IMAX is. 
what? It's like the the Bentley of movie theaters. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like your mansion, but for movie theaters. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, very nice, amazing quality. No. Okay, well, not sponsored by IMAX, so we're just going to go ahead and talk about the game. Uh, we've right. got uh, this bottom lane, Coastal Belay Monkey King. This was a first pick Monkey King, and we weren't sure if it was going to be played in the safe lane or if this was going to be picked up by Z Freak. They opt to uh, take it to the safe oh, lane. That was a rough deny. Yeah, moves putting the hurt on Coastal Belay. You put your first point into Boundless Strike, so you can't trade properly with Frank in the lane. Even you get absolutely styled on by him denying the creep on the Rubik. Husky just got his uh, counter D ward there. Does have a centaur and he's coming to lane here level one still. So he's definitely a little bit behind in experience, but he's, his goal is to just try and give some space to Costa Bile, right? Yeah, the 1v1 centaur. Center on centaur action. Normally you pay double for that type of stuff. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> here on Summit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll be honest, the, the amount of like catchphrases that I have uh, have taken from Dodgeball is enormous. There are way too many good ones in there in that movie. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. the greatest commentators of all time. Yeah. They only produce bangers. I thought we were the greatest commentators of all time. Well, they're retired. We are the current greatest commentators of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes but, sense. Yeah. Oh, God. Costa Bile's taking a lot of damage down here. He's going to be forced to use his boundless strike to disengage. One more. Oh. He's dead? They get him anyway. The, t yeah. the double, double edge. Now, how many times have we talked about this? Well, it's, it's a, this is the square edge right there. The and they pause the game on them as well, Frank. Uh oh, leg issues, he says. <laughs> 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 the classic. <laughs> My bad, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, just some lag. He he he. Oh, uh, Coach Bela is not going to be happy about that one. I mean, even if it is lag, uh, if you die at the start of the game, you got to sit there and think about it. Uh, well, you're here still, Dad. That one's rough. Don't come out of that one. Uh, we get a chance to talk about some of these other lanes, though. Uh, in the mid, he's doing surprisingly well here on Gunner. Uh, Puck. He's supposed to have the base damage advantage, but I guess Gunner, he's one of the better CS mids in the world. Um, after that uh, first wave, he manages to tie things up with the puck. So both 14-1 to 13-1. And this will start to go the Invoker's way, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it will start to go the Invoker's way. Um, it, it takes a moment just because he, like we said, you know, he does need the double null tally. And once he has that, oh, actually, it's just going single null, maybe, unless it's on courier. Yeah, so he's just going to go the single null into the uh, urn. Urn, yep. So, Fair enough. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. All right, then we got uh, top lane that we haven't discussed too much. Uh, Viper's uh, ran out of mana completely, and now he's getting skewered back. Into the Bane. Yeah, he is real far away, and boy, do these heroes do a lot of damage. They might be able to turn around onto the Magdos. He's got five points in this poison attack, and Kataro, plenty of damage to dump into him, so one for one trade. You're perfectly happy with that on Lava. Like, Kataro's got a full wave here under his tower as well. Yeah, but he gets to farm this up by himself now, so this, uh, this death that they had here is only going to accelerate uh, Kataro's farm, so. I'd say you're more than pleased with it. And he's, uh, MJZ's back here with full HP and full mana on his Viper. He was sitting at no mana before. So they're only making him more powerful, Ricky. MJZ like teepees and he's like, I know you're trying to farm this wave under the tower and you just want that solo XP, but hear me out. What if I, <laughs> what if I took some of it? <laughs> Oh man, mid lane, some aggressive player from Leo style and Gunner. He dodges out that EMP with a really aggressive orb, but uh, Gunner. Needs to be a little bit careful. Doesn't quite have a salve. You don't have a lot of catch on the puck. You can only really play aggressive when he doesn't have the orb available. And even then, like, EMP never really connects. It's one of the reasons the puck gets picked in this matchup. Yeah, that's why they did even though we've seen a lot less puck. He's got raindrops coming out right now on uh, Le uh, Gutter, though. So Leo Stiles going to lose all of his kill potential at that point. He's just so much HP regen from his points in Quas, uh, plus the extra sustain from the raindrop. But... He's going to take double water rune here, heal himself uh, back up. Uh, it's not about getting a kill onto the invoker anymore. It's about uh, keeping this lane shoved in and looking for kills in the side lanes once the six minute mark hits and that his power runes come out. Exactly. Yeah, Gunner wants to be able to try and make some rotations with the urn, but 
Not gonna get the opportunity. And yeah, bottom lane, Monkey King Ooh. able to get the jump point. Did he level Tree Dance there? Is that what happened? He did. Okay. For those of you Otherwise who don't know, disabled. when you level the ability, it's not on cooldown from damage. So you can instantly level it by holding a point and then go ahead and Tree Dance away in between like auto attacks and stuff. Absolute so. gamer. Big Doesn't gamer move right choice. there. Yeah. But he just took way too much damage way too quickly between uh, these, these two points into the double edge and uh, the two points into Fade Bolt. There's a lot of magical burst here. Yeah, there really is. And this is kind of what we have been seeing out of Centaur. Ooh, Kim. They are going to be able to go aggressive here onto Kim. Gets found there by the Seder and of Stomp off the mark. Allows Costa Bile to help run him down. And I don't think they get the Centaur, but they will do a lot of damage to him. They're going to try. They're gonna, yeah, looks like they are going to try. They've got a Shockwave and one Duke and primal spring forward they're gonna go for the dive impetus from downtown gets him tpn from the rubik but costa bile he's got a tp to go home if he wants to use it i imagine he will just gonna uh, uh, just tree dance his way back to the lane okay not yeah. too well, bad that, not too bad at all uh while well, that was going down they ended up losing the viper in the top lane uh, again so Magnus uh, now has a little bit of farm under his belt. He's got uh, mana boots. He's got two salves coming up in order to heal back up because he doesn't want to get zoned by Guitaro here. He needs to be able to contest his farm. Husky yoinks that six-minute rune, taking a lot of damage here from the Rubik. Might eventually end up going down. He's got that centaur rotating in to try and give him that good old hoof stomp, and that will be enough. The infused raindrops saving him. Value pickup so far these game on the raindrops. Top lane. Another fight breaking out here. Mu and Z free getting aggressive onto Kataro. He is falling low, but slowed up by the Viper. Kataro no just waddling shockwave away. Do. Shockwave in one second. If Mu can connect, he does, and he will just TP home. Very nice. Ah, oh, they thought there was a. Uh oh, your economy in shambles on lava. You thought there was an observer ward up there. No, he was just confident enough to walk up that hill. That's confidence there by Mu. Have you seen the man's mustache? Of course I have. he's got confidence. Yeah. Absolute chat. <laughs> uh. Alright, Gunner by himself in the mid lane here, and this is going to allow him to uh, up farm Puck. He's, I believe, uh, ahead. Yeah, he's ahead on the net worth right now, but uh, about 400 gold. And this this is expected, right? Puck has to put a lot more money into regen in the lane, goes for the bottle. Gunner, his net worth goes a lot further on the Invoker at this stage of the game. They do see this rotation, two wards actually scouting it. So Gunner mm. shouldn't be able to get away with the rotation here as long as they play deep into the lane. They're actually bringing in uh, Z Freak as well. So a lot of heroes here bottom. Four? Yeah, yeah if they four don't get killed on the Franklin, they wait uh, a lot of time. Nice math yeah, there, Neff. Thank you. Middle tower is under I, uh, I quickly added up a bunch of ones. If you want me to break down how I did that one. Yeah, it's a high level move there. Might need some assistance. All right. They get onto uh, the Rubik. Send up. Right. Kim is going to go down. Goes to Bile. Still pretty tanky, actually, but he's got two more stacks of these Jingus to work with. And he gets the tree dance out. He's going to be fine. But I think he's going to try to hold this. Uh, yeah, he's got two points of Jingu Mastery, so he's going to hold this uh, at least one uh, Jingu Mastery attack. For the primal. For the strike, the creep For wave. the balance strike, yeah. Yeah, heal himself back up. Next wave will be coming in in just a second. All right, he decides not to wait for it, but he heals up a decent amount with that. Yeah. It's hard to get the kills on a Frank there uh, because he's got himself a Vanguard, but. No. Rebecca he became uh, easy picking, so the rotations at the bottom lane were completely wasted. Enchantress yeah. uh, gets caught up by Leo Style. Found once again in their triangle, trying to do some uh, silly stuff. Gonna get caught with a coil and brought down by the puck, though, so finally punished for that movement he's made. Yep. He does have a nice deep ward here, and it's gonna get instantly dewarded there by Kim. But top lane, you just lost Kataro to Mu and Gunner. The RP will be able to secure that one. Yeah. Uh, and this allow uh, this finally has some um, earned charges, so we'll be able to cold snap people down on Gunner now, which you really need on uh, the Squash Wex Invoker. It fractures the kill potential. Otherwise, he's become a nuisance. He throws down tornadoes, EMPs. I he's, hate this build. He's rushing that uh, Spirit Vessel. He's gonna have it fairly soon here, and this is a very good Vessel game. Yeah, up against the Centaur, up against uh, the Clinks. Like anyone trying to run away from you is just going to completely melt. 
See free bottom, bottom lane, lane. they're Frank looking to dive him. Oh, there is a TP coming in on the far side, and it is going to be Gunner. He gets the Stampede. Looks like Viper is just going to be his target, though. The Cold Snap is going to net himself a really easy kill there. Frank able to TP out. Mm. And Puck's going to be forced to turn around. He's starting to make a rotation down there, but uh, against his three heroes, he's got to be careful. So, nice nightmare by uh, Bane. He's going to disengage off there. Uh, like you're going to put a little bit of harass on the onto that tower, but uh, Centaur's allies, whenever they try to make a movement in the bottom lane alongside him, they just get punished. Like, they ignore the Centaur completely, uh, play around him, kill his ally, and then, you know, he just doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, Centaur is kind of like this immovable object, right? He's not easy to kill, but uh, in situations like that, where you have the control, you can kind of just ignore him. And, you know, we, we've seen Centaur have really great games. We've seen him uh, kind of struggle in lane a little bit. And this is definitely one of those ones for Frank. We're going to see a three-man smoke here from the Zoomers. They head top. They want to find uh, Kataro, but he is uh, in the triangle. You have their eyes on Kim, though, and that's going to be a boundless strike to set up a rotation here. Leo style on the back side. He ends up going in. He's going to have to be careful. His gunner's here with the uh, urn plus the cold snap, and we'll build a phase shift there for a moment, but a fiend's grip from Z Freak to secure the kill. A five man rotation. Yeah, and they waste no time there. Gunner immediately TPs oh, to the bottom two. lane. Z Freak with a nightmare. He's found the Viper and Moog coming for the TP. It takes him a little bit to RP. get here. He doesn't even need it. He's got the damage alone. Skewers on forward and Magnus finds himself another. What a sick play set up there from Z Freak. Bottom lane, they are on to Gunner. Three heroes. Burning Barrage doing a lot of work here. He does have the Ghost Walk Ghost and Dust comes out pretty much right away, but he's out. This, oh my God. It was just disaster all over the map. They lose the puck in the top lane. They lose uh, Viper in the mid. Uh, Centaur, his uh, push is thwarted by the Invoker, who ended up TPing down to the bottom lane immediately after they found that kill in the top lane. And they couldn't even turn things around to get the kill off the gunner there. You know, everything going in the way of four Zoomers right now. And, you know, losing map control. The Centaur, if he had existed in, uh, existed in the bottom lane by himself and not had anybody rotate and, uh, like, Give up kills, these heroes. Tornado. I think they'd be much better off. He's caught Kim. Cold Snap is there, and that is a lot of damage coming through. Z Freak ends up finding the kill. But this is the power of the Invoker. This is exactly what we saw Leo style do on this hero just the other day. The super fast vessel into just tons of aggression around the map. Gunner actually going back for the Midas now. Seems to be pretty much the standard build. Yeah, uh, usually they get the spirit vessel, then uh, they start working on farm uh, after that. Goes to Bile, traps MJZ top, drops the Wukong's command, finds himself a kill. 13 to 4 now. I mean, it's only a 1k now with advantage, but it, uh, this is starting to feel kind of rough. Ooh, Gunner's found Kataro, and again, Gunner just setting up kill after kill. Z Freak just yoinks it. This is when things get so scary, dude. He can't be anywhere. No. And Frank, he's wasting so much time. Like, uh, if he was at least crushing like a tier one, tier two tower, like we see him do uh, sometimes when his team is playing by themselves, then yeah, I think it's fine. But his allies keep following him down here to the bottom lane and then dropping like flies. They're smoking mid. They got to get something out of this. Leo Style's got the coil. He is going to go ahead and drop it. And they're going to go ahead and settle for the Invoker in the mid lane. It seems RP being held for the moment. It will end up connecting. Gunner still managed alive. They get the Fiend's Grip on the back side. They're falling apart here on the side of Lava. Two heroes die. Gunner, yes, you get the Invoker, but does it matter? Not when you lose three like that. Gunner is happy to give that one up. In fact, he throws a tip off onto Leo style. Centaur, at the very least, he managed to find a tier one tower in the bottom lane. He's working on his blank dagger, but now you're going to give up your mid tower. Extra map control going the way of four zoomers. And uh, this is, uh, things getting worse and worse. It's a complete disaster. He freak. He's trying to find Frank. Moo's got a haste rune. He's going to go for the wraparound. He's not. Okay. It's like, that would be a very aggressive wraparound. I mean, he, Frank does have the Blink Dagger being delivered right now, so killing him wouldn't really matter all that much, to be honest. 
Yeah, they lose uh, three heroes for gutter there. They lose their mid tier one tower. And uh, even though Frank has got his blink dagger completed, uh, Moo has now got his as well. Yeah. He's got RP up another 60 seconds. Yeah, it is. It, it feels like the the game is dip, more difficult for Lava than it is. I mean, it's 17 to 5, a 2K gold lead only here for the Zoomers. It feels worse than that. It feels so much worse. Yeah, it really does. They scanned them out. Z Freak on the Bane. Gonna walk right back up into him, but he's gonna take it for Gunner because it's two man. Tornado right on top of him. They got no mana left. Frank falling so low. Kim, the first to just get popped. He's stuck inside an ice wall. This is just such quick reactions from Gunner there. It hurts. It hurts to watch, man. <laughs> It really does. They tried to set up a kill. The, I think we're very quicker if they had uh, vision placed there. If they dropped a ward onto the high ground, Centaur might have been able to get a stomp off on a two hero. They would have catched, uh, uh, caught both of them out. But they, need they didn't to be play this that vision. Just had a super unfortunate angle. Oh, oh my goodness! Z Freak gets a TP out last second. Top lane. He's looking for the puck. If he gets the nightmare, he's definitely dead here. An orb in one. He's got the, the courier scouts it. The courier scouts it. Oh my god! They are just so damn good. They are reading them like a book right into the fiend's grip. There's no way out, Leo style. All right. Husky's courier over and catches him out. And Z free combos that went up perfectly with them. Beautiful gameplay out of four zoomers today. They're bringing their AJ man. They uh they felt bad after the 24 and 0 yesterday. They're like, "All right, we got to put one up on the board for our fans." And uh they're <laughs> delivering. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they're setting up in the Roche pit now, and I don't think that Lava's going to be able to do anything about this one. Supposed to be like just uh, finish the BKB disassembling that Echo Saber. So, that much more difficult to contest this hero. Yeah. That was such beautiful coordination. I mean, trying to scout him out with the uh, Sun Strike initially, uh, realizing that like, kind of where it was, then getting the courier flying overhead. Wow, to get that nightmare off. So sick, man. So sick. It's like, what was Husky's courier even doing out there? You know, like, did he actually move the courier top before they even TP'd Z Freak there? Like, it's just is so he nuts had, to think uh, about. He had some items flying out to him. He's working on his solar crest, and you know, it just happened to be there. So might as well take advantage. Just watch. They're gonna like remove uh, vision from here or something Coil, like that. Just gonna get dropped right away on the coast of Bila. He's he he's afraid of this Monkey King, as he should be. And that means no coil for a minute, and they're gonna be able to continue to push this top lane, bottom lane. They're hunting for MJZ. It is the support Viper, but you take those for sure. As Gunner further pushing his net worth advantage here. Yeah, that's not what Z Freak hunted though. He's looking for uh, Centaur. But he's gonna TP up to the top lane, be just fine. Husky, maybe in some trouble here. Drops the heal. Kataro, he ends up has he has an alacrity. Gets enchanted right away though as he walks into a sentry. They're just afraid to go on the enchantress. Frank on the backside pops a stampede, finds Z Freak, but he gets caught by a nightmare right away. Moo in trouble. Tornado coming through, gonna split the fight in half. EMP connects. Your centaur has got nothing left. Magnus has to be careful, but there's gonna be the Veeds grip. He's got the puck once again. He needs help. The burning barrage interrupted by Ghost to be like Guitaro trying to TP out, but he gets canceled. It's a disaster for Lava once again. Losing your big two heroes here. Yeah, your position one and two, the only people with a farm on your team. I mean, Centaur's not far behind him right now, but this is where the net worth lead starts to get worse. Poor Zoom is now 4k up, complete control of the map, and they're playing on your side. They're not going to let you farm anymore. And they've uh, uh, completed BKBs on the Monkey King. He didn't even have to activate that one in the last fight. The Invoku's going to be working on one as well, as is Mu. And this is a sign that four Zoomers is starting to get ready to close out this game. Pressure high ground. This alongside, I think maybe... God, I don't even, I'm not even sure if they have to wait for the next Roshan with the kind of game that they're having. They're putting on the herd now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, things are looking so good for them. Lava, in the, in the meantime, 
I mean, they're working on, uh, what is it? Uh, Heaven's Halberd or something like that on the Centaur War Runner. Uh, they want Glyphnir completed on the Clink so he's able to get these burning barrages off. But, you know, we saw last time, the moment uh, anyone showed themselves, Fiend's grip immediately from Z Freak. He's gonna oh, God, Gunner's going to find Guitaro. He's got dust as well. And that is going to be a rough situation to be in here for Kataro. He's just trying to run away from Gunner here on the Invoker. There's just no chance. The Stampede comes through, but Tornado on the money. Z Freak, bottom lane. Oh, Can sorry, they actually uh, finish off the clinks? One. Okay, yeah, they got him. Puck. Goes to be lay. Where? Where is this? Oh, okay. I was uh, like, where player. is this happening? <laughs> yeah, they got vision here for the moment with the crease, but... They know he's, he's here somewhere. Anywhere. Right into the sun strike and uh, another pick off. This Puck having such a rough game, dude. Still not to that blink dagger. She's him to the ends of the earth right now. <laughs> and not even gonna let him uh, split push the way <laughs> he's <was a> got. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after the kind of beatdown they received yesterday, I'm with you on that one, uh, man. A 24 to zero. A couple uh, jungle items he... being left there by mistake. Costa Bida, I don't think he saw the Aquila there. Just dropped in the ancient camp, but Gunner. Oh, he managed to catch him with the dust as well. Kataro going to get punished for trying to play that one. And another death on the Clinks. And he's back up to full HP off the creep wave, boundless strike, and uh, take down this tier two tower. They can just walk up to the tier threes, I feel. He's still actually ages expires another 40 seconds. They're just going to take the tier two and outpost and now up to a 7k gold lead as the zoomers have to be feeling pretty damn good right now. Gunner is just non-stop, man. He just TP'd down to the bottom lane. He's going to get scouted on this uh, ward and sentry, so Frank needs to be careful. Hmm. He'll be TPing home, so he's going to be fine. But Deso picked up on Costa Bile, an interesting Monkey King item, but this hero now does an immense amount of damage. Right. Age generation on uh, because the belay. I feel like he's going to uh, they're gonna play a little bit further back while they don't have the ages. They're probably waiting for the next Roshan. They've been playing very careful on four zoomers, uh, and well, all over the map. I don't think they'll start to slip up now or we'll get uh, any more over aggressive than they should. But uh, they realize that the stage is expired here on lava, they're trying to hug the high ground with their smokes, but they're not biting here on four zoomers. No, no, they're just pressuring this mid tower. You got a Deso and a BKB here on Coast of Bile. Like, they're just going to continue to try and do what they can. All right, Stolen Alacrity is pretty sick for this Clinks if he gets it. They do need to be careful, though. There's definitely, they have to know there's a war up on the high ground there. They got Coast of Bile, but he gets the BKB up before he hits the ground. And Frank on the run, but it's not going to happen. Tornado's there to catch him. Stuck inside the Wukox command. He goes down. Dust. Ends up connecting onto the clinks, but no blink to get on top of him. But they found Puck on the backside. Sunstrike does connect, but pops out Invis. He's pretty hard to catch. Oh my god, that crit from Costa Bile just yeah. melts the Puck, dude. Yeah, that's the desolator damage you were talking about. <laughs> oh my, 817 damage from that boundless strike into just 375 on the next auto. Now we're up to uh, 29 and 5, and I'm not sure what item you can get to turn this game around at this point. You, you need like throws from four zoomers. It's feeling a little bit hopeless. I mean, maybe you could shard on Puck. You could land like the perfect uh, Dream Coil Waning Rift snap. But even then. They're playing so like, spread on the fights and zoomers, though. Like, there hasn't even been like a good moment to get more than like a one or two man coil. Yeah. Like, Z Freak's been. positioning has been so good. He just waits for Puck and then is like, I'm going to Fiend Drip this guy. And that's like yeah. his whole game. <laughs> yeah. Look at him right now. He's hiding inside the trees. He's going to wait for Puck to try to ship out the lane. Do they have bots or on Invoker? Anyone, really. Not yet. No one has bots yet on the uh, Radiant, but they have a haste on Moo. That's pretty dang good. And there's going to be the Skewer. Puts Viper up on the high ground. They catch Leo style, but they've also caught the Invoker. He needs to get out of here. The BKB going to get popped. Nice deafening blast there onto two and the boundless strike again from Costa Bile setting up a kill onto the puck. 
Frank, yeah, more than enough blink damage. in two. He is going to be out, but you've lost two more heroes here on Lava. You're just bleeding kills here. And they can't yeah, find anything, the... dude. Yeah, you don't All have the, the items grip, to take Just from fights. downtown, why not? Yeah, the Observer Ward giving him vision. z Freak sitting on that one from the low ground. The key to off in the Aether Lens. So much range of that Fiend's Grip. He just dropped it and instantly well. Fiend's Grip. Like, he knew, like, yep. if Centaur comes in to try and cancel, Centaur just dies, right? So... Well, yeah, well, that's exactly where uh, you need to be on the Rubik as well. Uh, you need to be spamming out the waves with the Fade Bolt, especially while Puck's dead. Uh, there's the punish, and... He's gonna have no problem taking out this rank. Well, from Frank, but Mu is here. waiting. Stampede right away, but held in place. Found the strike. They end up turning on over to the clinch. The Wukong's command. It comes out. Kataro able to escape for the moment as well as the puck to disengage from Lava thanks to this four man coil from Leo style, but they still get the barracks. Can they actually get something here? Frank with a nice two man stomp. Can they actually find the kills? But a big RP from Mu holding him in place. Gunner falling low, but. It's not enough damage. He still managed to survive the ballast strike. Just goes right on top. Gunner takes down the Rubik. No detection from Leo Styles. He will make it out. The Clink's barely surviving as well. They call the GG. That is it. The Zoomer is putting on a clinic here in this first game. Yeah. He's shown the strength of America. This is the last team representing them here in the BTS Pro Series 9. Or Zoomers, uh, despite the beatdown they received yesterday, the uh, the abused always become the abusers, though, Ricky. If uh, history teaches us anything. <laughs> uh, amazing performance out of them. Uh, got a great job in the mid lane, out CSing the puck, uh, not going down to him there, and ended up uh, trading favorably for him the first couple levels where puck is supposed to have the advantage. Mu getting his big dagger fairly quickly up in the top lane, and uh, Z Freak always in amazing positions to catch out this puck. Yeah, and everybody was trying to split push, stop them from uh, like stalling out this game, which they really needed to do. I mean, eventually, the game NZ is able to to win this for their team, but not if he's constantly finding these catches and stopping them, shoving in the waves. I think there were a couple issues with uh, Lava, and maybe some of them also fell to the fact that people went down to the bottom line uh, lane alongside Frank and just died with him. Uh, I think they should have played elsewhere and just kind of let Frank do his thing down in bot. But uh, these are issues that they can clean up in game number two. Yeah, it, it doesn't even really feel like there's like a clear cut MVP in this game. I mean, every single player on four Zoomers killed it in this game. Like they all played exceptionally well um, from like the the ridiculous courier scout into the Fiend's grip on Leo style to, to just like Gunner's super aggressive play here on the Invoker. I mean, there was just so much to be said about how they played, but uh, it is a best of three. So there is still potentially two more games here and Lava, they need to win this next one to keep themselves here in this tournament and get their chances of uh, playing against who they want in the grand finals, which is going to be Thunder Predators. So we're going to go to a short break, everyone. Stay tuned for more. Uh, we're going to uh, see you in just a little bit here on the BTS Pro Series season number nine.